Thank you very much for being with us today, Samantha Nell and Bongiwe Selane. You're a producer from South Africa, Samantha. You yes. are a filmmaker. That's Samantha, you've been to Cannes once before, but you're making your first feature film. That, that is correct. Um, yeah, I was here in two th uh, 2016 with a short film at the Kinzen. Bongi Wei, yeah. it's your first time in Cannes, but with Samantha you're working on a second feature. Yes. yes Tell I, us about your experiences. Uh, it's been great. I've known Sam since 2014. I uh, ran a short film initiative in South Africa that was funded by the National Film and Video Foundation, which was a an initiative aimed at upskilling and um, enabling female filmmakers and she came on board as a director on one of the shorts. Miles from Nowhere is set in South Africa. Can yes. you tell us or how much can you tell us about it now because obviously you're here uh, with the Cinéma du Monde, the Institut Francais, to try and I think bring this project to fruition. That's correct. Um, yeah, Miles from Nowhere is also a dark comedy. Um, it's set in a small Jewish old age home in Johannesburg, South Africa. Um, and it's a po like a Rainbow Nation, post Rainbow Nation comedy. So we're dealing not with the South Africa of the past, but the South Africa of the present. Um, and basically it follows the story of this elderly Jewish man, Ben, who's very comfortable in his space, but is confronted with change when the home opens its doors, not just for the first time to non-Jewish residents, but also for the first time to residents of color. Bongiwe, what stage are you at then with the production on this film, Miles From Nowhere? Um, I'm, I think, I mean, we've been journeying on this for about three to four years. Uh, and it's great to be here because that means that we have something that has potential to, you know, kind of resonate not just in South Africa, but on a global space. So we've, uh, our budget is about 750,000 euro, and we've managed to raise some of the funding from South Africa. We have an amazing rebate system that we can tap into. But what's amazing is that we've just, we have a, a French producer now, M MPM, Marie-Pierre Massé. And um, yeah, so that's going to, that's kind of hopefully going to propel the project forward for production next year. Mid next year or later next year, but soon, yeah. When you make a film, you, 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 it's, it always seems like such a struggle. And it is, in a way, particularly from where we come from and the kind of film we want to make. What would uh, be an obstacle to it? You said it's difficult to make this kind of film. What do you mean? I think that, you know, we, 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 we're slowly growing a cinema culture in South Africa, but it, it kind of wants a particular type of film. Obviously, most of it is entertainment. It's, I call, I, I mostly refer to it as bubble gum. You chew it and you throw it away. But I, I'm, I'm excited about this project because I think it's the kind of film that we need currently in the social political space that we're in, where we can look at ourselves as a country and as a world uh, and, and kind of reflect on where we are. Uh, where are we going, what we are about, what are all these issues that are holding us back from being this amazing country that Mandela and Tutu and all the fathers of democracy uh, saw. So, Samantha, from what you were saying, um, it sounds as though you're poking or hoping to poke the South African audiences and perhaps people further afield as well. You talk about dark humour. Okay. Um, dark humour sometimes can be politically incorrect, am I right? That's uh, that's very true. That's part of what's been amazing about the development of the film with Bongiwe and with me is that we both come from opposing perspectives. So we, you know, agree and we argue so that we make sure that the film goes exactly as far as it possibly can go without going a step further. Because I think it's that's the most challenging thing with that kind of humor is that if you take one step over the line, you're going to lose the entire audience and you lose the message. But if you get it right, you make the audience not only you know, participate in the film through laughing, which is a physical reaction they can't stop, and also complicit in the characters in the film. Well, thank you very much, both of you, uh, Samantha Nell and Bongiwe Selani, for being with us today here in RFI's studio on the Croisette at the Cannes Film Festival. We wish you all the very best with your project, Miles From Nowhere. Thank, thank you, you so much. Thanks for having us.